you can't really tell if a video is good or bad without watching until the end and that's really bad since users can use this for clickbait videos and others. Yeah, dude, the amount of scams and everything that's gonna pop up is gonna be pretty damn bad. Now, ever since YouTube dropped this update to the whole platform, update to YouTube's dislike count, it's you know, clearly been very well received by the whole community. They spoke that this is apparently uh, to help, like, help protect smaller creators, but I think we all know that's, uh, that's not the case whatsoever. And you may be wondering how I can actually still see the dislike count on this video despite refreshing the page and like, hey, the dislikes are still here. I'm currently using a Chrome extension that has absolutely blown up in popularity uh, over the last couple of days. It's called Return YouTube Dislike. I'll of course leave a link in the description down below where you can download this. It's a free Chrome extension and it just restores the dislike count. Uh, I actually wanted to make like a dedicated video about this as I was hoping that this is gonna be like a permanent change. And this Chrome extension here would actually you know, work for the next couple of months at least. However, uh, I don't think that's gonna be the case. I was watching uh, the latest video from Scarce today and he too brought up this Chrome extension uh, that I've been using for the last couple of days. And unfortunately, YouTube uh, are actually gonna be removing the statistics.dislike count. So from December 13th, this is gonna be a private statistic only visible to the creator which I think we all can agree is a terrible move. Even one of the co-creators of YouTube, who I think posted the first ever YouTube video on the platform, me at the zoo, I'm sure many of you are, are familiar with the video and have seen it before, but he himself actually updated the description of this video saying how the whole change to removing the dislikes is you know, a terrible idea. As you can imagine, just about everyone like, unanimously agrees this is not a good move. In Scarce's latest video, you can see um, some, some memes popping up and everything about how like YouTube's changing over the years and how in 2021, you know, just the removal of the dislikes is just a horrendous, a horrendous move. I'm gonna leave some other videos in the description down below that you can check out after this one. Uh, one is from Mental Outlaw. This is a pretty good bit of content here. He explains kind of the main reason why uh, the dislike count has actually been removed. There's been so many times where I've had some kind of weird issue going on with my PC, and more often than not, I go over to the YouTube tutorials to try to fix the problem. And you know, I search up the error message I'm getting over on YouTube, and more often than not, I can find a tutorial that actually solves the problem for me. More often than not, it's never quite that simple though. Chances are you're gonna have to probably go through countless videos looking at the dislike and like ratio to see which one is most likely to solve your problem. Before, I would be able to actually quickly glance at the dislike to like ratio without even having to press on the video thanks to another extension called vidIQ. Now, as you can see, after I refresh this page, this Chrome extension does still work to an extent. However, ever since YouTube's announcement of them removing the dislike count, this Chrome extension has really struggled with their like to dislike ratio feature actually working properly. Now this used to be a brilliant way to be able to quickly gauge whether or not a tutorial or, or any video for that matter is worth your time. As you can see, it's not popping up for every single video and it seems to be very buggy at the moment because of what YouTube has done to the platform. Now, I should also mention that if I press on website right here, this extension isn't only for Google Chrome, it also works for Firefox, Edge, Opera, Brave, all of the most popular browsers. Now, there are a lot of terrible tutorials over on YouTube, you know. It's not just filled with amazing content and you know, that's it. Now, there's plenty and plenty of terrible videos over on YouTube, especially terrible tutorials, some of which might even give you viruses. An easy way to gauge whether or not a tutorial that you're watching is any good and has worked for other people is you look at the dislike to like ratio. And if it's heavily disliked, chances are you're just gonna click off the video the moment you see that because you know it's gonna be a waste of time. Either the guy who's posted the video has made like a terrible tutorial or it's out of date. You know, something's clearly not right here. You're just gonna move on to the next video that hopefully has a positive like to dislike ratio where the majority of people have liked the video. And chances are the heavily liked tutorial will most likely solve the problem that you're currently experiencing. Some people have said, oh, you can still look at the comment section to gauge whether or not the video is any good. Yes, 
However, the creator himself can also remove all the negative comments. I think the amount of people that are gonna fall for scams and just get viruses from YouTube now is gonna increase substantially. Generally, when you come across a video and it's heavily disliked, you're just gonna move on to the next, you know? You're not gonna waste your time with that video. Let's be honest. Dislikes are needed for tutorials to easily detect scams and to counteract fake news on a website where anyone can post anything. Now, if you remove the dislike count, where, where are you gonna go next? To the comments. Now, there's some issues there. If you leave a negative comment, chances are it will probably get filtered by like YouTube's comment filtering algorithm. If you write some naughty words in your comment, it might just like never be public anyway. But a bigger problem with this is that even if you leave a comment and it's public and you know, it's like, hey, don't watch this video, like don't waste your time. This is a virus. This guy is trying to scam everyone. Just avoid this video at all costs. Go to the next one. Don't click on his links in the description. Obviously the creator can just remove all of those negative comments saying like, hey, this is a virus or like, it's a terrible tutorial, dude. Don't waste your time. It's out of date or something. The creator himself can just remove all of those comments and with no public dislike count, how are you gonna know whether or not this tutorial is any good? Is this guy trying to get you to download some bit of software and hack all of your accounts? It's like an easy way to tell is just, oh look, it's heavily disliked. Move on to the next. Obviously the tech savvy people are gonna probably be like, oh hell no, I ain't taking no chances. I ain't downloading nothing from this random guy. But of course there will be some people that fall for it now, that generally happens now anyway, even with the dislike count. Of course, someone eventually falls for one of these scams or like viruses or whatever, but I reckon it's gonna increase substantially because of this change. You know, it's just gonna be way more difficult to gauge whether or not a video is good or bad. Now, unfortunately with the whole return dislike Chrome extension, I don't think it's gonna work for much longer. We have like maybe three more days until it's uh, no longer gonna function anymore because the public dislike stat is no longer gonna be public. It's gonna be privated. At the moment, it's private, but if you get the Chrome extension, then you can see the dislike still. But after December 13th, like, is, is this actually gonna be a permanent change to the platform? If that's the case, it's not good. No one believes what they said in that video of like their reasoning behind removing the dislike count. We all know why they actually removed it. It's not looking good, despite so many people speaking out against this. It's definitely gonna be interesting to see what happens with this Chrome extension once YouTube release their API update. But I really hope this is gonna to continue to live on, especially with uh, these potential implementations that they're working on and these features where you, know, you can link your YouTube Studio analytics to this Chrome extension and allow your dislike to like ratio to be public despite YouTube removing the public dislike to like ratio in their API. It's still gonna be available to each individual creator and they're gonna hopefully be able to share this data with this Chrome extension and then this Chrome extension will share that data of you know your, your entire channel's like to dislike ratio with the rest of the people also using this Chrome extension. I really hope this feature eventually does make it to their browser extension. I'm gonna of course leave plenty of links in the description down below to some other videos that I recommend watching regarding this whole situation and the real reason why the dislike count has been removed. It's much more serious than people actually uh, think it is. It's not just to protect small creators, it definitely isn't. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this change gets reversed in the near future and isn't a permanent change where the dislikes are never public again. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video soon. Goodbye.